Hey guys, today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a great, it's a great um, effect in Adobe Photoshop CS4. Um, this is showing you how to do this glowing line. This can be used in uh, posters, backgrounds, um, loads of different pictures. It creates a great effect, and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so what you need to go is go ahead and open a new document. I'm choosing the width um, 1280 by 720. That's pixels. Um, click OK. Now you need to fill the uh, backgrounds layer, um, so press G as a shortcut, and D for default colors will be black. So go ahead and fill that in. Okay, now press X to revert back to the white for foreground, and you in not do don't sorry. Uh, you choose the pen tool, and you go to your brush settings. Um, I'm using master diameter three. You could have one to about four or five. Um, beyond that, it gets a bit too chunky. And it looks a bit it takes away the effect. I'm choosing hardness 0% and I'm keeping those brush settings. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose the pen tool. Uh, I'm just going to create a S type um, curve. Let's say that's okay. Um, you can choose whatever kind of curve you like. You can have it spiraling. Um, just different ways. Um, but you'll spend more um, time on yours because it'll just give a better effect. Okay, once you've done that you need to go and insert a new layer at the bottom right corner. And right click anywhere on the canvas and go to stroke path um, this little box come up and you need to have the brush option selected and stimulate pressure box needs to be ticked to give a good effect click ok and press escape twice that will get rid of the paths and now you can see you have the curve what as you can see it fades into the curve what well, looks pretty cool um, to get the different colors effects you need to right click on the layer 2 above your background black layer and go to blending options this box come up and choose the outer glow um, choose any color you like I'm just gonna choose a blue choose a light blue click OK and you can choose you can change the opacity to uh, whatever you feel like I'm gonna choose around 90% click OK you can also have inner glow sorry not inner glow yeah inner glow um, you can change that to a blue if you like, a lighter blue I'll choose. And it lightens the middle a bit. Okay, so once you've got that, it looks pretty good. Um, you can use it on different kind of pictures. I'll show you some examples I've done over the time. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I hope you found this useful. More tips and tutorials coming up with Photoshop and Sony Vegas. Thanks for watching, guys.